Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ah uh -huh. Welcome around the world and welcome to my world. <laughs> welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to Healthy G Moms. And as you can see today, I kind of set some little stuff up for you to let you see that we're going to be growing, regrowing um, garlic. Now, garlic, a garlic clove simply starts out like this. You go to the store and you buy some garlic. But I let my garlic, because I had bought so much, bought bags of it from, where did I go? Costco, right? And so I let them sit in the dark. And if you can see, look at these little leaves protruding. But I further grew um, my uh, garlic uh, once I start poking out like this. Um, either you have a root, some roots, which you can see the little bitty baby roots, or you can see the little, um, that green little piece like this that looks like my beautiful um, pepper, sweet peppers in the background, right? But here, I sat it, I took a little bowl, and you can see that little water dripping around there. See that? Right? And it made it start growing more. Now, this is the time you can continue to let it go, but um, God's plant has a mind of its own. It does what it wants. Sometimes, like I said, the roots will grow so much at the bottom. See those little bitty roots? Or that it sprout at the top faster. It depends, right? Well, this baby decided to sprout more here at the top. This one versus this one. Let's see what this one looks like. So I got three of them, but two of them I sat in the water. The other one has just been in the cabinets, right? But look at that. The other one, see this one right here, is sprouting more right at the bottom. You see that little sprout? That's right there. <laughs> see what I'm saying? They got the mono on just like we all are God's children, and we have a mind of our own. I digress. Anyways, so I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in a pot, right? And my pots are my, uh, bowl, my, um, my, um, this is a, was a water bottle, right? It was a water bottle here, Crystal Geyser water bottle that, um, I created because I ran out of a lot of my pots, like you see this pot in the background, and I have some bags. So I'm like, I'm not gonna buy no more pots. So I just took a um, that water bottle, and you see the bottom of it's dripping. I put some holes in the bottom. And so I've already started and put some organic soil in here. And I also, in the background, you can see, I can also have some um, cocoa uh, mix. But before that, I have some, I made some blueberries uh, a blueberry drink today and so I'm gonna put the the pulp from the blueberries in here now you can do any kind of pulp you can throw this away but you know for me I don't waste it's just it's part of the soil remember so we'll put this inside of the soil if you guys can see that and we'll go all the way we'll mix it in put the, the soil on top of put that at the bottom so we won't have so many bugs that's attracting it, but we'll put it at the bottom, right? And then we'll put some more. Um, so we'll put some of this cocoa mix on top of here, right? See that? We'll just put some more cocoa mix at the top here and put that over. So we really are getting the soil nice and mixed. Now you can go to the store or you can invent your own stuff. Healthy G Mom. Remember, she worked what I have. Now, I do, I, I, you know, I live at, I used to live at Home Depot. Not live. I'm just saying I used to always basically, you know, go and spend money there um, at Home Depot and Lowe's. I'm not sure around the corner, around the country, what you guys have. But here we have, uh, here in Los Angeles, California, A, we have um, Home Depot and um, Lowe's, right? And so, basically, you know. I decided, you know, I'm start. I bought enough, so I'm gonna start working with what I have around the house, right? 
and I've been growing so much all last year that I had a lot of soil and pots and all kind of bottles that because we drink water again my son drinks because he's an athlete he drink about a bottle of a gallon of water maybe in a half two bottles a day and I drink a gallon of water a day so that's what we do right and so basically you can actually just because now look at these, you can actually take them apart and, right, look at that, and grow them um, one by one. But Healthy G Mom, I think I'm going to keep them in and let them sprout a little longer and just put them all in here together. So basically, I will create a, a hole in here. And I'm, I, you know, I'll separate one. I'll see how it goes. But... Oh, you know what? Hell, we'll do. I think we'll do that. <laughs> see, again, see, Healthy G Mom, she's just showing you that I'm no different than you. I'm working what I have because I'm trying not to break the, see those roots at the bottom? That's why I wanted to keep them together. So we'll just take a couple of them and spread them around the edges and see what we get. And then we'll keep the entire one in the center, right? And we'll just put a little bit more soil over them so that just we'll make the root in the bottom put the raw root for it to go all the way at the bottom right and we uh um yeah so we'll put the roots in the bottom and just let the green um part which is the the um uh, which is the garlic um just like an onion like you have a garlic onion you have onions that grow with their um you know, they either have a garlic, garlic bulb or you have the garlic leaves. And that's the green part of the garlic. So, yeah, I just want to make sure that they're set in here and they won't float. I don't want to bury them. Now, I'm not sure some people bury theirs. But for me, I'm not going to bury. So, we're going to go here and then we're going to spray. So, I, the, the, um, the soil, if you can notice, it's already nice and moist see that water at the bottom see it's still dripping right so it's already moist in the soil that is dry from this bag the cocoa mix right that i have here so i just want to since we put some uh, dry and i want to moisten just the top um because if you notice when i started these i just put a you don't want to put a lot of water because it will mildew you just want a little enough water here and, and and let it sit, the, the bottom part sit inside. So you can start like this and it will grow. If you notice, they were growing on its own. This other one was growing, just sitting in the cabinet in a whole bag full of them. So you guys can do this at home. You know, it's, it's imperative to start learning how to grow your fruits and vegetables or what you can at home. If you have a house, honey, king and queens try to do grow your own food at home if you can but healthy g mom lives here in los angeles in an apartment so i am growing on my in my apartment and i'm growing on my balcony so i want to thank all of my new subscribers and i want to thank all of my old subscribers i am greatly appreciate all the love that you give to me and i want you to be to continue the healthy journey that you're on because you are what you eat, think, and say. Eat, think, and, and do, right? That holistic lifestyle that I'm working towards, I'm doing a whole body. That means I need to get my mind right, my body right, and my soul right, right? All right, you guys, much love and respect.